This is what passes for an early spring day in the Arctic in the northern Canadian town of Inuvik. Frigid temperatures and blowing snow. And many residents have turned out for the annual spring festival dog sled race. Is he happy? Are you happy, big boy? You're going to run and lead, you big hole, okay? Dan Heilbrunn is considered among the favorites. The lead dogs are the most driven of the bunch that respond to me the best and that fool around the least and that are typically the fastest. These dogs aren't your stereotypical Huskies. Heilbrunn says his team is built for speed, important considering this race is a sprint. Today is 16 kilometers and it's uh, all out as fast as you can the whole way around the track. It's just as fast as you possibly can. Yeah, there's no, not much pacing. Inuvik is developing tourism as a way to bolster the community's bottom line. And the Arctic Chalet Company is tapping into that market, offering dog sled rides. Okay, so your leaders are Altafjord, <laughs> Alta, uh, Kabluna, Kamek, Gambut, Yuki, and Chinook. We got there late on a perfect day, booking the last two teams. And what the White Huskies lack in experience, they make up in spirit. That's Yuki and Chinook causing all that trouble back there. A quick tutorial and off we go. You're looking at the traditional method of transportation in the far north, sled dog teams. Nowadays, they've largely been replaced by snowmobiles or skidoos as they're called up here. However, sled dog teams are still used by hunters and trappers who venture far into the bush. It's pretty intuitive to drive the team. There aren't many rules, but one is critically important. If for any reason you fall off your sled, hold on and become the human anchor. A lesson that CCTV photographer Andrew Smith found out the hard way. Okay, here's what he did wrong. You don't take your eye off the trail or the dogs. But he makes a good human anchor. But this looks a lot worse than it really was. And he didn't break the golden rule. He hung on. Go on, go on. Negative 21, a good headwind with the dogs running full speed. Very cold for us, but to the locals, this is nothing. This is, this is the start of great weather. And nothing for Dan Heilbrunn as his team cruises to a second place finish in the big race. And on a trail like this, you just feel like you're on a magic carpet or something. You're just flying. And one time honored tradition that many in the region continue to embrace as practical as it is entertaining. Sean Caleb, CCTV, Inuvik, Canada.